in three quarters of a mile, turn left. Arrived. Grable's Roadhouse Barbecue, y'all. Was it worth the wait? All right, y'all, here we are, back for another barbecue review. We are here at Rabel's Roadhouse Barbecue. Uh, we are here in Lavernia, about 40 minutes outside San Antonio. I've heard really good things about this place. So yeah, stay tuned, y'all. Here in about an hour, we're gonna go check out and see what they got to offer. In the meantime, if you're not subscribed to this channel, maybe think about doing so. This is what I do. I do barbecue reviews, try to travel all around. I do like to travel around San Antonio, Austin, maybe Lockhart. I might even find my way over to Houston and maybe up by uh, the DFW area. So, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, y'all. Join this bottle crew and uh, come along for this barbecue tour. First in line, is it worth the wait? Guess we'll find out. y'all we've already got people pulling in we got 15 minutes to go at least i'm first in line but there's more people more people before they even open the door that's a good sign y'all it's a good sign hello 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 again hello again hello all righty how are you doing today i'm doing great how are you doing good 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 very good i'm gonna do the three meats and let me get pulled pork pork ribs turkey and then mac and beans and then i'll do a half pound of fatty brisket marble brisket got yep will that be all for you that's it can i get your name uh chuck i'll have that right off for you thank you all right thank you mm -hmm. gonna do some diet dr pepper y'all and doctor and back to the diet and then doctor Good to go. All right, let's set her up, y'all. See you in a second. Bro, there is a line already. No joke, I'll turn this one around. There is already a line. This is crazy. Here I am, number 37. Guess you order and they bring it to you, which is definitely a nice little touch. Oh, thank you. Right on. Need anything else? Just the on the side? Everything looks delicious. Thank you so much. Goodness gracious. All right, y'all. Wow. Those are homemade. Those look like homemade pickles. God, I'm just not a pickle guy. My apologies to the uh, boss man. I'm not a pickles, pickles guy at all. Let's see if I can try an onion. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta say, I can't stand pickles, but somehow I can't. I can stand that. Wow, that's actually, that's not bad. It just, to me, it tastes like dill onion. I don't mind dill, because dill's a pretty big uh, ranch spice. So we will, uh, oh yeah, let me get my video. Don't forget guys, be looking for my shorts videos. I always post a couple of them before I start eating, before I go inside. So be looking out for my YouTube shorts also. Just posted. All righty, here we go, here we go. You know me, y'all. Always gotta start with the brisket. Let's move this rib out of the way. Everything looks spectacular. Oh, yes. Yep, yep. So here we go. Looking good. Oh boy, that just pinched apart. Gotta do the original. Uh oh. 
spicy. Is anything like that? But spicy? Good. Ooh, sorry, I almost, almost needed to bleep that one. Wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Turkey time. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's been so long since I've gotten turkey. Because sometimes you just don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I'll, uh, I'll tell you. If you don't know, I do know. That, uh, ooh, what? It's falling apart. And it's not because it's dry. Not at all. I'm gonna try their spicy. I don't even know what that clap was. What the hell was that clap? Oh my God, that spicy barbecue sauce. You know, I always seem to go somewhere. There's always those couple things that really sticks out from a barbecue restaurant standpoint. And that's spicy. That might be one, that might be one of the best barbecue sauces I've had. God damn. Definitely tomatoey, tomato base. There's vinegar in it, but I wouldn't say a lot of vinegar. Enough, but the heat is perfect. It's perfect spice. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah. Turkey's a banger, for sure. All right, well, enough of the turkey. Let's try a rib. Oh my goodness, these are meaty, very nice. I feel like sometimes ribs just don't have enough. Sometimes, these definitely do. Wow, it's 11.20 and this restaurant's already half full. Yeah, literally half full. There's a whole countertop full of to-go's. All right, let's try this. Wow. What is distinct on there? Is that the smoke? There is something there. It's good. Whatever it is. I gotta do spicy, sorry. need bread but I don't let's just pinch it all right I'll try without it <clears throat> I'll try without it all right good pork very good very juicy smoky yeah There's nothing wrong with that pork at all nothing at all let's do the original Yeah, pulled pork is your thing. Great pulled pork. I don't want to use, I don't want to say typical, because my word typical always seems typical. But very good, very good, very simple pork. Only so much you can do with a pork butt, but very good. All right, let's see this mac. Coarse screw noodle, definitely creamy. Let's see. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Backyard mac right there. I definitely taste the uh, Easy Melt American. Probably some cheddar. Maybe a few others. It's good. It's creamy. It's simple. Yeah. Good mac too. Let's try these beans. Looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like chunks of brisket or something in here. Oh yeah. Same thing. Beans are very good. Seasoned well. Just a good old backyard bean. Wow. Very, very good. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do what I did at Snow's. Maybe a little spicy. Yep. I would do that. When you turn them into a barbecue baked bean. That's really good. Mm. 
Texas toast. I think I'm gonna have to do my, uh, I've tried everything except for the pickles. Uh, I'm just not a pickle guy. I'll put those in a to-go container. Let Mrs. Bottle Chucker try them. She'll like them. Cause those are homemade, definitely. Definitely homemade pickles. Yeah, that's not, even with whole garlic even. Definitely. All right, I gotta do my little piece of brisket. I gotta do my sandwich, man. It's what I do. Open face sandwich. Am I gonna be able to close that? No, I ain't gonna close that. Hell no, I ain't gonna close that. Nah, see? Gosh, it's falling all over the place. All right, I'm making a mess. Now. Whoa, this is huge. That. Good Texas toast, too. Man, that's good. That's better than just a piece of bread. Wow. Yeah, that's much better than just a piece of bread. It's almost like buttered, buttered and toasted. Do that. Do that right there. Oh, man. Dude. You know, I've never had this. Ever. I think it's like a Alabama. I think it's like an Alabama white sauce. How do I want to try this? On some pork, maybe? Let's try it on some pork. Whoa, that's kind of thin. Wow. That's different. Alabama white sauce. That's different. That's honestly the first time I've ever had it. I see it a whole lot outside of Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I prefer the... That's, honestly, it's the first time I've ever tried it. It's got a it's got a twang to it. It's all... I mean, the base... Isn't it just mayo and vinegar? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. But the base is yeah. mayo and vinegar. It, it, it goes best with turkeys and white meats. I gotcha. I wouldn't say it was, like, bad, but if I've got three sauces to pick from, I'll, I'll leave that one in the back. I mean, it's, it, it's okay, but the sauces are spot on. That spice is perfect. It's like just enough to like burn the back of your throat kind of thing. Not your mouth, not your lips. Just tingles the back of your throat. That's a great sauce. Did you get to taste a little bit of everything? I have now, yeah. Other than, like I told Garrett, other than these, because I just don't like pickles. I tried the onions, which obviously the onions take on the same flavor. But I almost don't even think of it as a pickle. I think of it more like a dill pickled veggie. It's got a much, which obviously, it's got a much fresher taste. Not like it's been a, a jar that's been sitting on a shelf for seven months that you crack open and it just tastes like vinegar. And that's why I can't stand pin uh, pickles. Yeah, I don't like them either. No, that's much fresh, yeah. mild, pickled vegetable. Almost like a pickled salad, really. A lot of people call it the pickled salad. Right. Yeah. Or cucumber salad. Correct. Yeah. And I love, I mean, like dill, if you like ranch, then you can't say you don't like dill because dill's in ranch. So honestly, I was like, you know what? It looks like just a dill pickled salad. So I tried the onion. I was like, okay, I can get down on the onion. Cucumber, I'm just, that's why I don't like pickles is because I'm just not a fan of cucumbers. But agreed. Typically, if I would have took a bite of that, let's say they just dumped jarred pickles in with the onions. Oh, I'd have been like, no, no. <laughs> but no, that's, it's still, it's palatable for me. Yeah. And that says a lot because normally, no. but it's good though. Everything's good. Awesome. Turkey's tender. The brisket's fire. Ribs are good. Pork is pork. It's good. Sides are great, man. Everything's well seasoned. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Yep. I like to make sure it all is exactly the way it should be. Seasoned well. So enjoy the rest of it. Thanks, buddy. If you need anything, don't hesitate. Come Appreciate it. All right, I'll save this one for some pork. Well, pork sandwich. Okay. Yeah. Man. Sometimes you just get so wrapped up in brisket and ribs, man, you forget about pork. Yeah, you forget. That's a great pork. Sometimes I used to eat, that's all you see was pork sandwiches. Then I moved to Texas. Now all I eat is brisket. And I forgot how good pulled pork is. Yeah.
Let me try some pepper on that mat. Oh yeah. That helped a lot. That's good. Yep. I mean, yeah. Can't say that was bad. Then destroy the whole dish. And <clears throat> once again, everything you just saw. 45 bucks. That is by far the lowest bill I've had. $45. And for 45 bucks, all day, every day, for this right here. This is well worth the $45. Let me try a little bit of pepper on there. Mm, we'll do spicy. Yep. Mm, the barbecue sauce is where it's at. That helps the beans a lot. I love the chunks of meat in that beans. All right, I forgot I got a rib still. I'm not wasting that. Not wasting this rib. Yeah, no. Crazy. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Almost finishing up, y'all. All right, brush, yeah. All right. Well, everything is good. In the meantime, going to clean up. Final thoughts are <clears throat> coming up in a few minutes, y'all. Everything was really good, but we'll be back in a second. Here you go, sir. Thank the way. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it, Thank bud. Thank you. Thank boop, you. Boop, boop. Thank you. Oh yeah, alrighty. Final review. So, Rabel's. Rabel's Roadhouse Barbecue. What can I say? Dynamite. We're gonna turn the car on because it's hot. It's already hot. So, great food. It is packed in there, as you can see. Packed. They've been open for like an hour, hour and 20 minutes, and they're already packed, almost standing only, standing room only. Anyway, brisket, good. Ribs, good. Everything, really good. Barbecue sauce was dynamite. Here in Lavernia, about 35 minutes, 40 minutes outside of San Antonio. Yeah, it's a, it's a win, win-win. Was it worth the wait? Uh, yeah, without a doubt. And for me, it really wasn't a wait. Got here an hour early. I was first in line. Did it my usual bottle chucker way. Uh, pfft. other than that, dynamite. If you are definitely passing by, even if you're not, it's like a 30 minute drive, 40 minute drive from San Antonio. Rabel's Roadhouse Barbecue. You definitely need to come check this place out. Uh, brisket was really good, really tender well rendered ribs were dynamite thick meaty ribs uh sides are great i mean i, I honestly i can't say anything wrong about the side they were good they were typical they were good well seasoned uh turkey was really moist and pulled pork uh i mean only so much you can do with pulled pork but it was smoky it was good and it was on point so I honestly don't have a bad thing to say at all. I don't, or I don't even have a, a critique to make. The uh, barbecue sauces, other than that white, and I, it's, not a, it's not my jam, not my thing. So uh, other than that, they're regular barbecue sauces. They're original and spicy on point. So yeah, Rabel's Roadhouse Barbecue, y'all. If you're in the area, you know about it. If you're not in the area, then Drive to 30 minutes, drive to 40 minutes because it is well worth the 40 minute drive without a doubt. Episode six coming soon, y'all. Stay tuned. Rabel's Roadhouse, Lavernia. Get out here. Worth the wait for sure. Subscribe, all that stuff because you got to find out where I'm going next week. Episode six already. Episode six will be coming up next week. Stay tuned, y'all.